Hey everybody, it's AP, and today we're making a tapering jig for the table saw. Check it out. So I have a project on my list that I've been really wanting to get to, but unfortunately I have to do a couple things before I can get to that. This requires two new projects to get to the third project. I know, it's kind of a journey. Uh, so this first project is making a tapering jig for my table saw. I need to make a tapering jig to create a dovetail jig for the table saw, which will then allow me to create dovetails for this last project. A jig, for those of you who are not aware, is a tool that allows you to make special cuts or accomplish different tasks on your table saw or on your router table or with your router. This jig in particular is a tapering jig. This will allow me to do taper cuts uh, on pieces of wood. This I'm just using materials that I had in my wood shop. Um, I did have to buy two special clamps, uh, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Uh, these are our, our toggle clamps, uh, which will hold the board in place when you're running it through the table saw, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. So, uh, first things first, let's start measuring and cutting wood so we can start putting this thing together. Let's go. The design for this is relatively simple. It's two pieces. One is the base, and the other is the, well, I don't know what you'd call it. The arm? Yeah, the arm. We'll call it the arm. Sure. The arm pivots across these routed slots here to achieve the taper you're looking for. Now, I want to be able to accommodate larger pieces of wood, so I'm going to make the base 36 inches long by 10 inches wide. That should be sufficient to make some interesting table legs in the future. For hardware, we'll use some toggle bolts and toggle clamps. Now that my rough idea here is on screen, I'm going to head down to the shop and start cutting up the wood. I lucked out and had a piece of 3 quarter inch birch plywood that was close to the size I wanted, so I just needed to trim it down. Ideally I would have used half inch plywood, but I'll take what I can get. I was double lucky because that piece of scrap I shaved off was the perfect size for my DIY miter bar. I then grabbed a piece of 1x3 from a previous project. Again, it was close to the size I needed, but still required some trimming. With my two primary pieces cut, I laid the arm on top of the base to get a general idea of where I needed to cut out the slots. I measured four and a half inches in from each end and then drew a line across the base with my speed square. I had to get creative with running this on the routing table. If I had a plunge router and a guide, I may have been able to pull this off. Unfortunately, I only had an old Craftsman router and my fancy new routing table, so I had to make do. If you're going to attempt this by yourself, make sure you're wearing goggles, gloves, and hearing protection. I started routing with a 3 quarter inch straight bit to make a slight indentation on the bottom of the base. This will allow the head of the screw to sit just above the base so it doesn't scratch the surface of the table saw. I then followed this up with a quarter inch straight bit for the pole of the screw to go through. It takes a few passes on the router to get through. Take it slow and steady. Raise your router bit up a little bit with each pass until you cut through. For the arm, I just routed a quarter inch wide by six inch long slot down the center of each side. Now that everything's cut, I wanted to add in the miter bar. I put down a couple of dimes and washers to help elevate the miter bar up and make it a bit proud so the glue catches nicely to the base. I covered the miter bar with glue, put the base on, clamped, and then put a weight on top. So while the glue is drying, I am going to install the toggle clamps onto the jig. This is, uh, I picked these up at Harbor Freight for about six bucks a piece. I'm using two of them for this particular jig, but mine's big enough that I could probably add a third in without a problem. These are just mounted onto the crossbar that ends up giving you the taper on the jig and pretty much it just opens up and clamps down onto the wood piece that you're going to be running through the table saw. It's pretty cool. Um, also looks like a Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. <laughs> Hours of fun for the kids. To install the clamps, I measured an inch away from the slot, drilled my pilot holes, and then screwed the clamps on by hand. 
I wanted to be careful to not split the wood, but to be honest, on the second ones, I just used the drill to screw them in. It was fine. Now the fun part. To attach the arm to the base, I pushed a quarter inch machine screw through and then screwed on an old knob I had laying around. This helped tighten down the arm to the base so when running through the saw, the jig won't move. I will be honest here again. After filming, I swapped the wood knobs for some real through knobs. I'll leave a link for those below. It just makes the jig look, well, sexier. Well, here it is, the taper jig. This only took me a couple hours to build, if that. Uh, I had everything on hand, all the lumber on hand, uh, even the knobs I had in a uh, spare drawer filled with nothing but knobs, apparently. The only thing I had to go out and buy was the toggle clamps. Uh, I picked these up super cheap at Harbor Freight. You can probably pick them up on Amazon or even order them from homedepot.com. Uh, but these are definitely a nice to have. You could probably, actually I would not recommend doing the taper jig without these because you really want to hold them all together. Uh, one thing that I didn't add, but maybe I will at a later time, is just a foot here to hold the wood um, flush to the bottom. I, I, with my test cut, I didn't need it. it. The clamps held it strong enough. So I don't know, we'll see if I, uh, if I need it in the long run. The only other thing I want to point out is this um, slide for the miter slot on the table saw. It's a little warped and so I found that as I was pushing it through there were points that it was getting stuck uh, And I had to release the fence to to you know get through since I'm not going to be doing a huge amount of Cutting with this jig. Uh, I think that's okay if I was going to be mass-producing tapered legs or something like that I would uh, definitely address this because that would get to be a big old headache um, You know when you're repeating this the other thing that I would think about adding to this as well is um, elevating the toggle clamps just a little bit so when you put in thicker wood uh, it clamps better that's the only thing I can think of but for my purposes this gets me one step closer to uh, my next project so hopefully you found this video helpful uh, maybe it inspired you to build your own tapering jig and create some really cool things like table legs or tapered something or other whatever you want to taper taper all day long um, great let me know in the comments below uh, if you saw me do something that you wouldn't agree with uh, I'd love to hear about that too if I could have done something better please let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe to this channel like the video share it with your friends and until next time stop planning and start making thanks everybody the only other thing to point out is this uh, slide for my miter slot on the table slot uh, the table <laughs> the only other thing to point out uh, with this is the slide for the slot the 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 miter slot on the table slot I still think they look like velociraptors <laughs> the only other thing I want to point out 